Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay, we've got a special series of episodes coming and it's just hot tips. Okay, I'm going to be giving you tips on the most popular questions that I get bombarded with in Discord, line chat and on Facebook as well. Okay, first of all, if you want to join any of my chats or platforms, okay, on Facebook, the groups and stuff like that, just let me know in the comment section and I'll send you a link or go to the channel description and you'll be able to find a link. Okay, let's get started with one of the main questions that I get uh, asked is how did you manage to get your total damage so high up? Okay, um, first of all, it's not as high as I would want them and I've definitely seen players with higher totals than me but since the question has been put forward to me I'm more than happy to answer it okay so first things first guys what people maybe don't know or haven't thought about is just through the divine mounts alone as you can see how many I have at the top uh, you're not only getting talents and skills which are very very good for example let's bring up Phoenix do bear with me as we all know the mount section is horrible okay horrible and slow but what we want to be doing is taking a look at this section so not only do these divine mounts give you talents but also as you can see for example this one at the end gives you total damage percentage this one gives you total damage etc etc skill damage extra damage damage reduction and so on so forth so not only are they giving you great talents they're also giving you great stats okay rare attributes so that's one section of um part of the story the second part would have to be something like my six star morphs okay my six star morphs we have quite a lot again i don't know why this section okay that's better but um for example the latest one i activated let's take a look together I believe it was this guy here Shinigami okay we want to take a look at this section I just want to see okay so you do get total damage from this section as well as you can see right at the bottom there I just want to go one back you get some skill damages some extra damage you could get that for free without even activating okay it's only the second and the third so you can get some total damages through here as well so not only that you're also giving yourself uh holy damage okay we'll get to holy damage on a different section right now we want to fully focus down on total damages and where i've obtained them okay so let's go on to metamorphs okay this is the meta treasure uh, meta treasure sorry slot enhancement section in particular that we want to be taking a look at okay as we know this has been going on for a while but you can see that even over here okay i've got a uh, uh, rank seven in there so i'm expected to take another 45 critical damage and another 25 percent total damage as soon as there's more of these frags available for me okay but let's take a look at the rest as you can see i've maxed out the rest of them all to rank seven anyway um again i need to work on dragon knight i think yeah so it's on rank six majority of the things and I think I've got a couple of rank sevens in there as well. That's great. Okay, so it's only the bottom two I need to work on. The rest of them, as you can see, they're already rank seven to where you get the milestone for total damage, 25%. And on the bottom one, you get 30%. Okay, so the two at the bottom are more rare than the two at the top. The two at the top, you can obtain for free every single day by being active in Last Guardian. The two at the bottom, you can find from Alice Packs and there is sometimes some type of event carnival that you can do the word sort of thing for free. Blitz some stamina and take it Alice and put it towards your meta slots, okay? That's the big tip that I have been doing myself and I definitely recommend you do the same. Going through the rest of my morphs, I've just seen one here that needs work. Yeah, let's see how close we are to that. So there's a rank six already in there. I've got a rank five and two rank four. So it's not too far off. I'll probably take this next because I've got the frags. I've got a ton of these frags in my inventory. So that's something that I will be pushing very soon as well. But that's for the uh, total damage reduction side of things. Okay, so the ones on the right, 
are defensive the ones on the left are offensive okay so that's just a little sample of where i've been getting my total damages from also obviously um we want to be taking a look at sage's tomb okay so this section in particular is for total damage uh, total damage and total damage reduction for both of them so as you can see we've absolutely maxed it out okay so 28 out of 28 there is no more that we can push on this front uh, so therefore i've actually gone back to working on these two the two basic ones the extra damage critical damage and critical damage reduction and damage reduction okay so the top one is offensive defense obviously for defensive elements will be good because this will push up my skill damages um i can't wait till i get it to 24 out of 24 because on the final one again it will be as you can see you need 70 frags to push on that no way to bypass that so you need to do this i've actually had this notification stuck on my account for since the this section was implemented i don't know why maybe they've got one in the works coming out for holy damage who knows okay so that's another section now we want to be going to galactic armor okay this section is very expensive a lot of people ask me how much diamonds did you spend on this it's not something that you can achieve in one event or two events it took a couple of events of me maxing it out and finally i got to where i need to get to to be able to activate all of the avatars okay now having done so i decided to take this to a rank nine which now that i'm looking at it eventually i will max it out to take that lovely juicy 20 percent 20 percent 20 percent and 20 percent but it's only for crit damage cdr extra damage and damage reduction okay so it doesn't help you for total damage but the middle one okay is probably my favorite avatar in terms of gaining statistics okay you could get yourself a lot of total damage from here skill damage from here everything okay so definitely keep your eye on the middle one okay as you can see i took full advantage of it and i maxed everything out um the bottom one very hard to obtain uh, once you've arrived at this stage you'll be getting lots of holy damage uh, as you can see the next uh, click will take me 25 percent up that's almost like activating a brand new six star morph okay so yeah you can expect it to definitely be expensive for you to get this rage essences but it is something i will be pushing on just not a priority at the moment okay you can see currently uh the event ongoing a lot of people are activating the morph from let's take a look together it's from the capsule event okay and uh, they're getting their maggie i've already got the maggie so i don't need that for the time being so i'm just holding tight okay let's go on to the next section i'll try and keep this brief like i said this is going to be a couple of episodes if you've enjoyed this make sure you smash the like button uh, refer us to a friend let your guild members know and uh, if you're new around here make sure you subscribe we've got a lot going on this year and uh, we're going to be helping out all of the players okay before i get into infusion i'm actually trying to locate it but my brain is scattered give me two seconds where are you where are you where are you du -du 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 -du. no it's not in this section god my mind's gone blank give me two seconds hold on there's just so many icons sometimes i get lost up in here hold up somewhere around here oh no here we go god you see what i'm saying okay so here we go the first one divine armory they've put it over here in the first section divine blessing okay uh the reason why i found it hard to locate it i haven't been here for a long time because for me i've already maxed out everything so i haven't had to visit here for a very long time this came out maybe three or four updates ago and the first two at the top which i keep clicking on they will be giving you skill damage okay both of them as you can see we've maxed them out you could take skill damage but the bottom two guys you can be taking total damages and i definitely recommend it's something for you to be working on if you're looking to build on your character strength overall during battles okay so i maxed this out and uh you could go to runes and what i would uh, recommend is you get some rune 
crystal okay it's called and what you could do over here you could push some critical damage and cdr as you can see the other ones i haven't even bothered leveling up okay but the final one it, it's giving you rare statistics so it's definitely something for you to take a look at as you can see i've got the first one level 19 level 17 16 and 14 okay um it is something i will revisit on at a later stage but i'm happy at what stage i've got it to maxing out everything and i've moved on okay so that was another section i got my total damages from uh let's take a look at the latest update which was infusion okay infusion weapon again as you can see and if you're a subscriber and a follower you'll definitely know that i have maxed all of these out again okay very similar to the divine blessing the top two is giving you skill damage okay so if that's something you're looking for uh it's great you know where to get it from also the bottom two fantastic you could get some total damage and total damage reduction not as much as the divine blessing but it's definitely there for you now after you've done all of that guys what i would recommend is you take a look at this section over here the first couple it's very hard to take rare attributes as you can see i've got some cdr there some critical damage some critical damage the last two are what i would say are important so you can see i've taken four percent skill damage and it's only a blue let's go down extra damage eight percent okay uh, this one total damage two percent and this one eight percent skill damage that's fantastic and the final one is my favorite as you can see ten percent damage reduction twenty percent skill damage you got three percent total damage and 3% total damage so the last two are the most important in my opinion and uh, the easiest to get your rare attributes okay the first couple very very difficult for you to land i'm guessing you need a ton of material now that i've got it to this stage i'm not looking to go crazy on it i'll probably wait until these type of frags and material depreciate and i'm sure at a later stage we'll be taking these for free especially with the new update just around the corner if you haven't seen already uh over here new update is up make sure you collect your diamonds i do this all the time uh the way it used to work is they used to do an update and in the uh, mailbox they'll just give you a thousand diamonds now everything's split up so you get 200 on the first day second day another 200 and once the update is complete you'll probably receive 600 right that's how they're running it now so it's a little bit more of legwork for us but make sure you're doing it to take your full update rewards so this has just been a quick tutorial for total damage top tips okay of course there's more ways of course there is um you know just off the bat top of my head platinum pet okay by doing inscribe just these ones over here yeah so we've got around four of them i believe and uh, every time we've done the inscribe you're getting yourself as you can see over here guys extra damage extra damage skill damage skill damage and at the bottom that beautiful total damages so of course there's many different ways to obtain statistics uh so make sure you follow the next series of episodes coming up it's just going to be me uh giving you a couple of you know it's better to look at it from fresh eyes so if i'm telling you this is where i obtained it from maybe you missed out on it and maybe it's something you could put to use and you could do the same to make yourself stronger as well currently at the moment in our server i just want to show you how it's looking in pvp i don't know what's going on with me today guys i'm just clicking all over the place but here we go as you can see that's the top five you got myself at the top, Kruji, Barra Base, Eva, Alpha. After that, you got Barry, Azurante, Ebosa, Chili, and Pablo. That's the top 10. That's how it's looking right now. And uh, yeah, we will be. I know there's a lot of people that wanted a breakdown of the top 20 in my server. I'm sure that's something we will get to very soon. Hope you've enjoyed this episode, guys. Make sure you support our channel by smashing that like button. This will help the algorithms for other people to get a recommendation to see the video also. Make sure you have a great weekend coming up as well. And uh, yeah, good luck to everyone going for the capsule event. I hope you manage to, you know, after watching this video all the way to the end, 
Hopefully you can get your capsule for 30k diamonds, okay? I'm wishing you great luck. Big love, smash the like button, leave me a little comment section. We're back and we're busy this year, buddy. Let's go.